couple of questions for you, Mr. Strzok, and I'd like to yield the balance of my time uh, to Chairman Gowdy. But uh, in light of the last round of questioning, it's fair to say that you wanted to stop President Trump from being elected, in your own words, didn't you? Uh, no, sir. That was my expression that I had a preference uh, not for candidate Trump to be president, but that I did not and would not Did stop I not that, hear that. you read your own text correctly that you would stop him? You would stop it? No, sir. You misunderstood or misheard me. I said that my sense and not recalling writing that text you, was that the American populace wouldn't elect You don't president. like Donald Trump, do you? Uh, fair to say I'm not a fan, sir. Yeah. And were you the only one who could have done the job you're doing? Or were you the only one that could have led this investigation in the uh, FBI? Sir, it was logical, and given that I was number two in counterintelligence, that I would have a role in this investigation. But no, there are, there are very qualified folks in, in the FBI. DADs, there are not that many in my level. So in retrospect, then, should you have recused yourself in this case? Absolutely not, sir. You don't like this man. You didn't want him to become president. You had several uh, very disparaging text messages with your friend about this, but yet you didn't once think that maybe somebody else should take this case. No, sir, and I'll tell you what, there are times where I didn't particularly care for Secretary Clinton, and I investigated that absolutely as objectively and aggressively as I did any other investigation. So, no, I don't think recusal was at all merited. Okay. Well, that, that's the one thing I've struggled with here today, listening to your testimony, because I do think a man in your position and power and uh, the respect you should have uh, or that people should have for you because of your position in the FBI, that you would have stopped to think that maybe there was somebody that could do a better job that didn't have such disdain uh, for this president. You claim to be such a patriot, but once he was elected, you continued to do this. And uh, I think that you have to accept that elections have consequences. But I'll yield the balance of my time to our chairman.